just finished making a render of this tiny scene with this little house in it and there's these tiny little trees and the trees are awesome. In this video I'm going to show you how to make those tiny little trees. It'll be super quick and easy and I'll even show you how to make the smooth land masses that they're planted. So let's get started. First uh, delete everything in the scene and we're going to start with, uh, we'll start with the tree. We'll make one tree and then we'll go from there. Start with a cone. Um, over here set it to four vertices. Now you have a diamond cone. Tab into edit mode. Rotate it 45 degrees. Not 90, 45. 4, 5. <laughs> 45 degrees. Okay. Uh, now it's straight. You can grab the top vertex, push it up. Now it's a tall tree. And face mode, grab the bottom face, inset, extrude. And there's the tree. It's done. But we can take it further. That's a great tree and all. Also, turn on cavity. Uh, it makes it way easier to see low poly work. And turn on random color. Okay, now, tap in data mode. Select these edges. One, two, three, four. And with these edges selected, hit um, edge subdivide. Great. Now grab this new loop in the middle, hit G twice and slide it up to the top, somewhere like there. Now hit Control R and add new loops, like so. Okay, now we've got loops and we can bend the tree, which we're going to use to animate. Just, we'll use shape keys for that. So add, tab out of end mode, add two shape keys. Basis and bent. We'll name this bent right and this one bent left. I select bent right, tab into edit mode, and turn on proportional editing, change it to sharp, and bend to the right. Just hit G and scroll to adjust the proportional editing radius. And don't bend it far, just go something like that. Also make sure you make it a little shorter because things get shorter when they bend. Actually, I'm going to go with right next. Okay, now go to bent left, select bent left. Tab in edit mode and go the other way. Great, so now we can control this and it wobbles. It's blowing in the wind. Okay, we will animate that. Just select that, hit I. Now there's a single keyframe on the bending value. And we'll make that repeat forever. Go to the animation tab, hit this and grab a graph editor. Make some room here. Okay, in the graph editor, click on the bent left keyframe, that's the keyframe. Uh, click the, you can hit N to open this little panel and add a cycles modifier in the modifier here. Okay, so that'll make anything we do repeat forever. So first thing we need is, we've got that keyframe. So let's go forward a little bit and turn the shape key to 1, add a keyframe. Go forward a little bit, turn back to 0, add a keyframe. Okay, so now it's repeating forever, going to 1 and to 0, to 1 to 0. And you can control how blurry it is by selecting the whole thing, scaling on the Y. Gentler, stronger. Gentler blowing is probably better, and you can scale it on the X to make it slower. And that looks great. You can grab these bottom ones and push them up on the Y to make it so that it bends further in one direction than it does the other. That's more realistic. It doesn't bend the equal amount in both directions. Okay, we'll do like that for now. Now we have a tree blowing in the wind. And surprisingly, it doesn't look that choppy. It's still fairly smooth here because it's such a small animation. Okay. Next steps are we'll make some land and then we'll make a bunch of trees. So pause everything. Let's name this tree. H, hide it, and let's add some land. Start with a plane. Uh, tab into edit mode, make it big. Don't need proportional editing anymore. Now give it kind of a random shape. You can subdivide edges to get more vertices. And I'll do that here. 
but here is the land. And now we'll add a subdivision surface modifier. Turn it up to three or two, that works. And you can see uh, when you have a part that goes in like this later, that will turn nasty because of the way the subdivision surface modifier tries to bridge it like that. So make sure you select any. You can just select like also like this one and this one or this one and join them. That's an edge. Uh, try to make quads in general. Now, maybe just one across there. Okay, that will probably help us later. Subdivides better when there's quads or just broken up faces. Okay, next we need some thickness. Solidify it with a solidify modifier. Great, I want to go up like that. Okay, next we will bevel it. That looks good, and we'll add another subdivision. And change the bevel amount. Where did that go? Right here. Change the amount of bevel, and you change how smooth the land is. So, more bevel, kind of a smoother, flatter land. You can also push it up taller with the solidify. And finally, shade the whole thing smooth. Not how smooth, just smooth. Right, and you can even turn that up. Okay, we have a nice piece of land. I like to put these in water. So here's water, land in water, lovely. Okay, now turn the tree back on. Tree on land in water, it's an island. Helps for the trees, uh, go to the side view or the front view, tab in edit mode, um, select the bottom right here, shift S cursor to selected. Now right click and set origin to 3D cursor. Now the cursor is at that little point. Uh, now the origin is where the cursor is, which is at the bottom of the tree. Shift S, cursor back to the origin. Don't need to leave it in a funny place. And now, when we scale the tree, it scales from the bottom, and it looks nice. Okay, let's duplicate a few trees on here. I think it looks nicest if the trees all face the same direction, so we'll not rotate them at all. And make a nice little grove of trees. And scale them as you go. They don't want them all the same size. That would look sad. And you probably don't see very many little islands with pine trees like this, or conifers or whatever. But maybe they're in Canada, who knows. Okay, one last problem. They all blow in the same wind at the same time. Which looks really silly. Fix that, you can select a tree. Let's get a graph editor over here. Graph editor. You can get rid of that. Hit N to get rid of that. Just zoom in on this bit right here. And let's see, on this tree, we'll slow it down. So scale that on the X. It's slower. Also, you can hit G, X, and slide a little bit to offset it. So A, G, X, offset. Offset. I'll speed this one up. Make more sense for a little one to go faster, right? You can even have some of them blow a little bit further in the other direction by adjusting that. And as long as you offset them, you don't have to change the speed of each one, but oh, randomness is good. Much better. Now they all have their own little lives. Okay, you've got an island with trees and water. Let's add some lighting. Let's add some lighting. We'll go in here, we'll use Eevee because it's fast. Add a light sun. And let's crank that up to like five. Rotate it on the X for shadows. Ooh, moving shadows. Beautiful. I'm rotating on the Z to get a good angle. Perfect, and we want to turn up the angle so that the shadows are fuzzier. That helps it look miniature. And that would show up better in cycles, but we're staying in Eevee, so. Now go to the world and change the color to kind of a light, something light and happy, like a light pinkish or reddish color. And then we can turn down the strength of it. And that will fill everything in with a nice soft light. So all the shadows are a pretty color. Okay, select the water. Should name that water. 
That should be land. Okay. Great. Select the water. Grab a new material. And in low poly, you can almost always just leave this how it comes. It's very simple. You don't need to set it much. We just want this to be shinier. So turn down the roughness. Make this darker. Actually make it way shinier. Over here in Eevee, turn on screen space reflections, bloom, ambient occlusion. Make things more realistic. And let's make our base color for the water blue. I'm gonna pick a kind of kind of a drab wintry blue. Okay, now we need material for the land. It's a nice color. It's warm. Warm tones look pretty. And this land isn't really low poly, but for some reason it fits the look just fine. So, whatever. And now for the trees. You can do unnatural colors on trees and it works fine because it's low poly. Don't know why. And trees are shinier. No? Nah. Okay, yep. Select. All of these. If you have the material utilities enabled, you can just hit Shift Q, assign material, and assign tree, which is much faster than doing it a different way would be. And there we have it a little island with low poly trees. And that was, it didn't take very long. Yeah. And you are pretty much done. Go back to here and make everything big. Yep, and you're done. You get to go enjoy your work now. You could uh, set up a camera and render this, anything like that. that. That would be very nice. You can try looking at this stuff in orthographic. Just hit five. Sometimes an orthographic view is kind of cute for low poly. And, well, you should probably try rendering in cycles. That generally looks really good, too. And my shadows are really blurry, so I might actually make that sun lamp a little uh, different. Back to the properties. Sun. And let's see the angle. 50. What if I just put it on like 30? Okay, I like that better. Okay, you can see I get shadows and reflections, and if we look at it in cycles, it looks way sweeter. And the sun might actually be too strong now. To get some harder shadows. And don't forget to save your file. And there you have it. Thanks for watching along, and I'll see you in the next one where I'm going to show you how to make little ripples in the water around your island. And there's a lot of other tutorials telling you how to make the ripples, but this one is specifically for this exact island, how to make the ripples look best.